Welcome grade 8. This is teacher Ellie for our second week of presentation. Last week, we already know what is fish processing all about. Of course, as well as its processes. This time, we are going to talk about the tools, utensils, and equipment used in fish processing. What are the objectives? The learners should be able to identify the tools, equipment, and utensils in fish processing and their uses. Number two, classify the tools, equipment, and utensils in fish processing. And number three, the learners should be able to observe the proper use of these tools at home. Now, students, grade eight, I am so happy to show you some of your classmates' assignment with you. Are they done at home? Of course, yes. And I am very much delighted for the responses. Here are some of these accomplishments. I am so proud of you. If possible, I wanted to present all your works, but you know exactly we can't. I can't accommodate all of you in my video. Next. Good day, Ma'am Andy. How are you? I'm John video. Peter Ramos from Gate Try 81 Hosea Side, and I will present the classes. fish processing using salting method with the product of Kench Cured or Binurong Isda. Before I tell you the ingredients Here and are the needed, we need to wash Try our to watch hands. Them. Watch and class. after that, we are also required to Grade 8, observe the tools they use in the videos. Remember, all food in fish processing methods cannot be perfectly done without aid of some instruments, primitive or modern. Now, what are the tools? What are the operations done to the fish? Okay. You mentioned of chemical operations and mechanical operations. I have to make this clear. Speaking of chemical operations, meaning chemical substances were added in order to enhance the flavor and also to prevent spoilage. While mechanical operations like slicing and cutting were performed to transform or preserve them. Now, what are the tools? Give me at least two. Okay? Give me at least two utensils. Equipments. Equipment used during processing. Do you have any idea? Okay, grade 8, take note of this. Tools, utensils, and equipment are different from each other. Tools are devices used to modify or enhance things. 
utensils are tools you hold on in your hand and use around the house, especially inside the kitchen. Equipment, equipments, they are a set of tools designated for certain tasks or machinery. Usually, equipments are powered by electricity. Okay? Understand? Now, here are the equipments, the tools, and utensils used in fish processing. Number one, pressure cooker. Pressure cooking is the process of cooking food under high pressure steam. Employing water or a water-based cooking liquid. Cooking in a sealed vessel known as pressure cooker. <clears throat> High pressure limits boiling and permits cooking temperatures well above 100 degrees centigrade to be rich. Okay? Next. <clears throat> measuring devices. A measuring instrument is a device to measure a physical quantity. There are plenty of them. Look at the picture. Next, weighing scales. A scale or balance is a device used to measure weight or mass. These are also known as mass scales, weight scales, Mass balances, weight balances. Next, triple beam balance. The triple beam balance is an instrument used to measure mass very precisely. Its name refers to its three beams. Okay, a thermometer. A thermometer is very common at home, especially during this time of pandemic. A thermometer is a device that measures temperature. A thermometer has two important elements. A temperature sensor in which some change occurs with a change in temperature and some means of converting this change into a numerical value. Next, salinometer. A salinometer is a device designed to measure the salinity or dissolved salt content of a solution. Speaking of salinity, refers to the quality or degree of being saline, a solution of salt and water. So, Salinity refers to the concentration of salt solution. Salinometer usually used in large manufacturing companies. Next, psychrometer. A psychrometer is a device used to measure the humidity of air. It has something to do with the water vapor outside. It is accomplished by comparing the difference in temperature between a dry thermometer bulb and a wet thermometer bulb that has lost some of its moisture through evaporation. Next. Measuring cups, measuring spoon. A measuring spoon is a device used to measure an amount of an ingredient, either liquid or dry. Measuring spoons may be made of plastic, metal, and other materials. They are available in many sizes, including the teaspoon and tablespoon. A measuring cup or measuring jug is a kitchen utensil used 
primarily to measure the volume of a liquid. Next, cutting implements. Cutting implements are tools used for cutting or slicing. Okay? Next, filleting knives. A filling knife, also called a filleting knife, is a kitchen knife used for filleting. It is a very flexible member of the boning knife that is used to fillet and prepare fish. Okay. Do you have some questions? Okay. So, no more questions? Okay. For your activity. To be recorded as your assignment, I want you to list down the tools utensils and equipments as they are in their uses add more according to their classification read research and refresh your mind by rereading your module write your answers on a whole pad paper picture and send them to me via messenger Do you have questions? Be ready for a recitation. Now, grade 8. From our previous lesson, tell us the importance of fish processing. Okay? Now, give me at least three tools in fish processing. What are the equipment you know? Enumerate them and say their uses. Who will be the first? Importance of fish processing first. Okay, very good. Now, what are the three tools used in fish processing? Give me at least three. Okay. What are the equipment you know? Enumerate them and say their uses. No more questions? Are you ready for a quiz today? Okay. Okay. First question. By the way, same as your assignment, I want you to picture your quiz and send them to my messenger. One, give at least two examples of fish processing methods usually done at home. What do you call the knife used in fleeting? Okay, again, number one. Give at least two examples of fish processing methods usually done at home. Number two, what do you call the knife used in fleeting? Number three, how do you measure the salinity of a solution aside from tasting it? Number four, what is the oldest method of fish processing? Number five, enumerate tools and equipment used in fish processing. Okay, time's up. This is Teacher Ellie saying thank you and good day. See you on the next lesson. Bye-bye.